Okay guys, today I'm going to be installing my uh, ADATA XPG SX900 um, top of the line basically from ADATA um, SSD 256GB. I got on a good deal. Uh, you can see my unboxing video within the previous video. Um, so I'm looking at the instructions and it has nothing in here in the instructions that tell me what how to mount this onto the bracket. Now I know it's not rocket science, I know what to do. So there's one thing. If you guys know out there, you guys could let me know. Um, what is the, what is this for? Um, I have no idea. It doesn't even say in the instruction manual. Uh, you know, I thought at first I would, you know, it would be something that you would put on top of this or as a separate, uh, like, a adhesive to stick for, for something. I don't really know where it would go. Um, I can see the I can see the screwdrivers right here. I can put the screwdrivers right directly in here, but I don't know what this adhesive is for. Uh, if you guys know, let me know, okay? So right now I'm gonna install it onto the bracket and then I'm gonna take it off my computer here. My desktop des uh, desktop uh, primary drive was busted. So it failed, it's a Seagate. So I'm going to uh, unhook it and then put this in and then reinstall the software. And uh, I'll show you all that uh, in the video. So let's let me first uh, put the uh, bracket on first. Okay. Okay, guys. So uh, right here, uh, I think I found what this is for. Um, it's you stick it onto here to make it more flush to the bracket. I think that's what it's for. I'm not 100% sure. If that is, let me know. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be using it anyways um, because I don't need it. And so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to put these screws. Um, put it right onto the screw holes underneath, match it up to this one here, and that is pretty much it. Uh, easy as that, and then uh, we'll put that together. So just give me a minute here. Okay, so I got the uh, drive here uh, mounted on this uh, three and a quarter inch thing. And what I'm going to do is going to take out, this is my C drive. Um, this is the one that's busted. I'm going to take this out, insert this in there. Uh, reattach the cables and that should be easy as that okay so just give me a minute and I'll do that swap right now so all you have to do is just unscrew the dry uh, screws on the side pull up the drive and unattach the wires to it and then reattach it to this okay okay so I got the uh, SSD put in there hopefully you guys can see that here is the bad drive um, right here this is the drive that failed on me okay so uh, and now I'm just going to put it together and start it up. Okay, so I got the computer all here all set up with the new drive, and let's see if everything runs okay. I need to go into the BIOS. And just make sure my booting is good here. There's the A data, it's already found it there. Uh, but the first boot, I want DVD right now. And before that happens, I have my DVD ROM there. So I'm going to put in the restoration disk and then when it boots up it'll boot off the restoration disk and it will install it. So It's annoying when you lose your full hard drive because you got to do all this all over again. So save and exit. Okay. I can always change that after when it's all set up. So okay, now it's just rebooting. There we go, it's loading files. So I'll, I'll show you when everything's set up here. Uh, just give me a minute. Okay, so right now I'm reinstalling it. It's actually pretty quick. Um, 
I'm not sure if it's because of the SSD or the drive, um, but anyways, I'm just waiting for it to copy. Once it's finished, I'll show you uh, a couple of things that you want to do with your SSD to optimize it. Okay, so it's uh, actually um, doing uh, the installation right now, and if you see the speed, it's re reaching like 3.78 megabytes per minute. Uh, that's huge. That's really fast. Um, yeah, check that out. So if you guys want to see how fast that drive is, that's how fast it is. Uh, I'll do the conversion a little bit later, but that's that's pretty quick. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I got my SSD all installed here. just wanted to show you my Windows um, experience score is actually a um, 7.5. That's pretty high. Um, and the scale is from 1 to 7.9. So uh, this is pretty high up. Um, the graphics, uh, the primary hard drive runs at a 7.8 uh, transfer speed, so definitely check it out if you're um, if you're looking into the the world of SSD and you're looking for an expensive solution, you might want to pick up this. If you have any questions, comments though, uh, post them below and um, uh, I'll answer them as best as I can. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.